Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you, Logic Pro 10 Beginners Course. And in the previous lesson, we looked at audio editing, and now we're going to take a look at MIDI editing. So I've got uh, classic electrical piano default. Um, audio, or I'm sorry, default uh, track set up, and I've duplicated it. And what it does is uh, it's brought in a MIDI region. So you can see a region here with MIDI notes inside of it. And let's take a look at how we would go about editing those notes. So there's a couple ways to open the uh, piano roll. One is you can double click on the MIDI region and it opens up below. You could also highlight which region you want to work with. Go up here to your editors, click that, and it's going to open up the piano roll. And there's a keyboard shortcut of the letter P that automatically opens up the piano roll as well. So a couple different ways to access this, but once we're in it, what we have here is, this is the MIDI region represented. Here are the MIDI notes within that region in our piano roll. So let's take a look at a couple different ways to actually edit this. Bear with me just a second here. Let's go back to this guy. All right. So let's take a look at editing the notes. Sorry about that. My mouse is something I have to address here. It's kind of not cooperating with me. All right, so we've got the uh, notes open, representative of the region that we've highlighted up top here. And let's take a look at how we would go about editing these notes. So one of the ways we can edit notes is we can grab it, move it left to right, changing it in time, up or down to change it in pitch, we can grab multiple ones and move them all the same way. We can resize them. So let's say I'm going to go over here and grab my pencil tool. Let's say I have some notes in here. And I'm just not even trying to put anything that's probably music. I'm just putting in notes. So. Let's say the notes aren't quite in time with the grid. And let's zoom in and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. If you look at the grid lines, let me move the playhead out of the way. If you look at the grid lines, you can see now we have notes that don't fall exactly. Some do and some don't on that. Now, typically, I mean, some projects, that's what you want. You want to have a more human feel to things and don't necessarily want everything in perfect quantization or perfect grid timing. That allows for a little bit, some of that sloppiness allows for a little bit better vibe. And it also is an, an element of a swing. When you, when you use swing, oftentimes notes will be pulled away from the grid. But if you would like to have those organized in a way that they're falling right on the grid, what you want to focus on as far as editing that is time quantize over here. So you can select to have it off. You can select to have it eighth notes. And you can see notes moving as I select different ones. Sixteenth notes. One to one note. So on and so forth. So if you go back to off, it, Logic Pro will remember where the notes originally were and puts them back. But that's a quantization editing feature. Another thing you can do, and it's only going to deal with the one you have selected, so let me select all those and make it a little bit more apparent what we were doing there. So let me select everything and hit 8th note. See how everything lined up perfectly with the grid because I selected 8th note, 16th, and then if I go back to off, it goes back to the original position we had it. 
All right, so let's take a look at this the other quantization feature here, scale quantization. You can actually select, let's say it was played and it's not quite in the right scale, and you know what scale you're working in, you can go down here and select that key. Let's highlight them first. Highlight the notes we want to change. C, and it's going to move the notes into that proper scale. So if it's not quite played right, there's a lot of flexibility. You can get the timing adjusted, you can get the scale adjusted. You can, one of the benefits of having MIDI notes is you can do a lot, a lot of really great editing with those. So let's go back and turn that off. And you can choose, you know, different scales here, melodic, natural minor, so on and so forth, pentatonic, blues, uh, just a whole variety of scales to choose from there. So let's look at the final editing feature on our piano roll here, uh, Velocity. And Velocity uh, refers to how hard the key was struck on the keyboard when it was initially played. So the way Logic Pro actually displays Velocity is you can see that line down the center of each note. There's like a small line in the center there. That's the Velocity information. So if I highlight this one particular note, and I go over to Velocity and increase it, say, from 80 to 127. It turns red, and then the Velocity line increases all the way across the note length, indicating that that one's at full strength or full maximum velocity as far as how hard that note was struck. So highlight it again. Take it back to somewhere around 80, I guess, is where it was. And you can see that the length of the inside line there is changed and the color of the note is changed as well. So that is the piano roll. Just a quick brief overview on how to edit access piano roll, how to edit the notes, and move around within the uh, MIDI section. Let's move on to the next lesson.